Cars 3 Piston Cup Racers in a nutshell. Broom, broom, we're doing pretty good in the season, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, nothing can possibly go wrong. Wow, being in the Piston Cup is so cool. I know, right? <laughs> Especially since the stock cars in comparison are such pushovers. <laughs> that hurt, man. Wait a minute, but my company can't even afford an action racer. Oh well. Alright, that makes sense. Wait a minute, what about us new sponsored racers? Oh, I guess that makes sense. Hold on a second. Oh, ah. Whoa, whoa, hey, watch it, dude. Uh, wait a minute, dude. Uh, Mr. Narrator, my sponsor's new, and they can also afford an action, but I don't even have an action replacement. Huh. Well then, we'll make one for you! Wait, what? Ah! Hey guys, what is up? It's Anarchy here, and today I'm going to be reviewing my custom diecast of Cam Spinner, the Next Gen Triple Den Racer. Now before I get into this lovely customs review, I'd like to say that I finally finished my racetrack. Yes, it's finally done, and I will eventually show it out, um, maybe in a live stream or in its own video. And second, I also want to um, say today's poll selections. So, today's poll selections are the 2018 version of Charlie Cargo, Timothy Two Stroke, and Cars 3, Jeff Corbett. So this is your choices, and vote on which one you guys want to see um, a review on. But anyways, let's get on to this review. So Cam Spinner's appearance was obviously in Cars 3, and was, he was also seen in um, Cars 3 Driven to Win, and he was actually one of the um, other um, Next Gens along with Rich Mixon that actually appeared in the game. So here he is. All these decals were um, paper stickers. Um, so yeah, no special decal paper, just use paper. And just glued it on using a glue stick. So yeah, paper stickers, I guess. Um, but yeah, so let's get into this preview. So here you can see he has a very nice expression. A uh, very nice determined look to his face. Um, you can see his very nice grill. You can tell when there is a um, paper decal and when it's, um, this is the actual body of the car. Which is kind of annoying, but it's alright. I don't really mind. Over here you can see he has two vents in the bottom. Um, his lovely grill. His hood up here is actually taken from the um, from the uh, actual car in the movie, as well as in Driven to Win, which, it was, which is where I got most of his decals. Actually, probably all of his decals. Uh, over here on the side, definitely very nice uh, paper sticker of um, the side of um, what's it called Cam Spinner. Right here, you can see. You can, well, I mean, you can't really see it. It's kind of blurry, but his contingency sponsors are Piston Cup, Carbon Cyber, um, Combustor, and Synergy. You can't really read it that well since it's paper, obviously. So. Yeah, unfortunately, but, um, so sorry about that. Um, over here, we can see number 31, along with little sparkles right here. Little sparkles, little streak of, you know, a triple dent, I guess, gum. Against gum liquid or something. Over here, you can see the streak of aquamarine going towards the back and then ending off. Um, because there's actually, um, the rest of the blue spray painted. And yes, I did spray paint this car blue to make it look... Even more cooler. Um, over here you can see more of the sparkling effects and more of the aquamarine, aquamarine color. Um, goes very, very nice with the side cast, honestly. I really like it. Um, up here you can see he has some lining right here. And it seems like some of the paper is coming off. So that's the only problem with um, paper decals. They don't really stick on that well. Over here, number 31, again. Another streak, another streak up here. Over here um, you can see there is another streak. And actually, I really love how I did the, the streak right here. Um, really like it. Very, very nice. And... Uh, yeah, it really completes the diecast, honestly. I really like it. It was very hard to do, though. So I have to admit that. Over here you can see another aquamarine streak. So basically, both sides are the same, except, you know, flipped over for that respective side. So over here you can see number 31, along with the sparkles. Over here. Um, yeah, I also really love his expression. Very, very determined. Um, very, very nice expression by Cam Spinner. Obviously, he is Danny Sorvez model, so I did use a Danny Sorvez um, uh, model. Um, racer, which was the, actually the um, Walmart Next Gen, which is why you don't really see my Walmart Next Gen anymore, is because he was used to make this car, which is definitely a hundred times better by far. I have, I have to say so myself. On the bottom here, same um, basic set that I had to screw out the rivet so that way I could spray paint it. That's why it looks like that. Um, Cam Spinner does not have the Lightyear Next Gen text because, you know, paint splotches were on the previous car, which was the Walmart Next Gen, and I couldn't really get rid of that, so yeah. Kind of unfortunate there, but it's alright. And over here, same thing. 
Same deal. Now, the back is what I really, really love. Since the back is really flat, um, the paper decal stands out amazingly. So you can see triple dent, number 31, and then obviously the text, triple dent. Rookie stripe, and then the big wave of, you know, probably triple dent liquid, or triple dent gum, I guess. And over here, is triple dent, um, spoiler. Not one of my best spoilers, honestly. The, the decal doesn't really stand out that much, but it's alright. This die, this die cast, though, really does stand out. I really love his aggressive expression. Definitely um, matches what he did in the movie, and yeah, very, very good die cast indeed. Uh, let me compare it quickly to a, another triple dent racer, which is Terry Gargas, actually the only other triple dent racer. So yeah, um, however, Cam Finner isn't that accurate, as in that this shade of blue, it was more lighter, kind of like this shade of blue up here, but uh, it's alright. I don't really mind. I mean, this is actually one of my first attempts at trying to make a real, real custom next gen, so very happy about how he came out. So yeah. Definitely, you can see all the changes that came from the old and the new um, cars for next for uh, for uh, triple dent gum. Definitely, the back came out the best though. So, really, very excited about that. Very, very happy about that. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed um, this custom. Definitely one of my favorites. Let me know if you guys have a cam spinner custom. If you guys do, please let me know because I would be really interested in checking it out. But anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Little Harky saying peace.